Hi Pisces, welcome to your April bonus. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, this is your bonus reading for April. We are going to take a look at love, what's going on in life, and then we'll get some advice, guidance, messages from the universe, from spirit for you, clarifying all the energy with tarot. My intention with this is if your monthly readings or some of your monthly readings didn't resonate with you, then maybe something here will. So it may or may not be for everybody. Only take the parts that resonate for you. Throw away the rest. Please keep that in mind. Not every single thing may resonate. Um, this could be past, present, or future. It could be energies of something going on around you that may not be directly you, but could affect you in some way. So please keep that in mind. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And you can be male or female watching this. doesn't really matter. So let's see. And if it doesn't resonate for you, please don't try to make it fit. Then it's probably not your reading. Don't leave me any ne negative comments because I will delete them. So let's see what we have for Pisces. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know, Pisces, is down below in the description box. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. Tons of stuff down there. Please feel free to check it out. And if you're new and uh, you like my style, feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. Get about five different readings a month. So you put your energy into the channel, and hopefully these readings will resonate for you. And if you do, thank you. So Pisces, let's see what's going on for Pisces in love at this time. For this bonus reading, this is a general collective, not a personal reading. So for Pisces in love at this time, for the general collective of Pisces, for this bonus reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is going on in love for Pisces at this time? Spirit, thank you so much. I don't know. I feel like... Okay, that one. I knew it wasn't right, and that felt right. So we have Our Lady of Holy Fire. So I have 39, which is 11. 11 is being on the right path or the right spiritual path. Uh, 11 to me is always half of the twin flame number. We do have holy fire here. And then that would be two, which would be unity. So some kind of holy fire is, you know, like that holy grail, holy passion, fire. Wow. Holy passionate fire. <laughs> and now we have Our Lady of the Inner Gate, which is 19, which is 10. Tens are about completions, endings. But then there's one, always a new beginning. So this is like your inner inner temple, um, inner gate. Choosing to go within and opening that inner gate could be a new journey, could be a new uh, something here. Like finally opening it and walking through instead of keeping it closed off. I don't have my book here. I don't think I've gotten this card to often and our lady uh, this is the mother miracle uh, mother miracle <laughs> oh, God. something that may be a miracle for you pisces um this is the mother mary deck so our lady is mother mary so let me take a look at this card here so i feel like inner gate is like inner uh like an inner journey an inner um Going on that inner journey, opening those gates and doing that deep down soul searching work and just opening the gates, uh, you know, letting the gates flood if they need to or opening the gates to walk through something new. So, but there is holy fire here, which reminds me of passion um, energy. So let's see. Let's see what's going on for you. So you could be having a new beginning here. If you've ended something and having a new beginning, uh, that could be walking through that inner gate of a new beginning. And it could be very uh, fiery, passionate, possibly, possibly be with a twin flame. All right, so let's see, Pisces, what's going on for you in life. What is going on in the life of Pisces for the General Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. What is going on? In the life of Pisces at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. In the life of Pisces, that one. 
We have self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness, 32, 5, change, challenge. So um, needing to be assertive and voice your opinion and voice uh, just something here, expressing yourself, making something known. Five though is about challenge and change. So maybe a challenge for you to do that. And we do have here honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. 31 is four. Four is about um, structure, foundation, stability. Two cards here of the throat chakra. So it's about definitely about communication, vocalization in some way. So needing to speak. <laughs> Two cards here of communication, expressing yourself, communicating, being truthful and honest, and vocalizing something here. Wow. So something you need to be upfront and honest about and really express yourself honestly about something here, and on the truth of something. Maybe it's hard for you to do that. All right, so it's like... Uh, Needing to find your voice in a way. All right, so Pisces. Let's see, what is the messages for Pisces? What are the messages for Pisces? What is the divine messages? Messages from the universe. Guidance, advice, messages from spirit. For Pisces at this time, please. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to take the top one. So trust the divine plan and face your adversities. I just got this card for uh, Gemini. And Gemini is <laughs> all about swords. Gemini represents swords. It's the air sign, which does represent truth, clarity, and they also represent um, the planet of, uh, oh boy, having a brain fart. Um, Oh, I can't think of the planet. Anyway, they represent the planet, which is all about truth, clarity. Anyway, so that may be um, something that's an adversity for you is, you know, speaking up, speaking your truth, expressing yourself. But trust the divine plan here that whatever is meant to be is meant to be. And you may need to face some, some uh, things here. Uh, to make a change. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify that it's bugging me that I can't remember the planet that Gemini represents. And I know it too. Boy, boy. Um, I'll think of it. Anyway, let's clarify here for... Pisces. What is going on for Pisces? What is going on for Pisces? All right. What is going on for Pisces in love? So we have the Eight of Cups. So yeah, so you could have walked away. Because we do have uh, Our Lady of the Inner Gate, which is 19, 10 is ending, and 1 is a new beginning. So you could have been you could have walked away from something to have a new beginning. Something maybe you thought long and hard about, um, contemplated about. But I, I think you're feeling like that holy fire, like that fire, passion from within. Like listening to your um, inner voice. Going on a soul journey here. So we have the five of pentacles, which is about being left out in the cold, abandoned, or leaving something out in the cold. We have justice here, so it could be a divorce or something like that, or legal separation, or or something bringing truth, clarity, and balance. All right, so let's see. Let's see. For... Pisces, what's going on in love here? Seven of Pentacles. So maybe investing in yourself for a while, you know, waiting, processing, analyzing, 
assessing kind of energy, evaluating. Where do you plant your seeds now? Where? You, how do you invest? Where do you invest? But waiting, just waiting. All right, so I need to find that planet because it's bugging me. It's bugging me. Mercury, okay, that's it. Planet of Mercury is all about communication. <laughs> and Gemini represents uh, Mercury. All right, because I just uh, got this card here for Gemini. All right. What is going on here? The tower, yeah. Shake up, break up, break down, uh, epiphany, aha moment, realization here, having a big epiphany. Do have the Ten of Wands here. So releasing burdens, burdensome energy, releasing something burdensome, no longer serving you. Laying that burden down. Epiphany, so break up, shake down here, something I feel like you walked away from, or maybe you left something. Two cards, you know, oops. What's this? Page of Cups. So this could be Apologies, Page of Cups. Or this could be a love communication, a love offer somewhere else. So what is that about for Pisces? The fool's taking a leap of faith, resetting yourself at zero. I feel like you walked away from something no longer fulfilling for you. It broke up, it sh you know, shook up, sh shake down, releasing the burden. Um, but, you know, assessing, evaluating for a while here. Maybe a new love, offer, new love offer came in with the Page of Cups, or it could be apologies. But now resetting yourself back to zero and getting ready to take a leap of faith here, trusting everything will be fine. But you do see here, and I never noticed that before. She's got a blindfold on, trusting that she's just going to sniff a flower, but there's a snake there. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So what else here for Pisces? Ten of, yeah, Ten of Swords, and I felt that hurtful, painful ending. But you start coming because the sword, you know, seeing the swords there, you start coming. It's kind of an odd. This is a tattoo tarot, and that's kind of an odd, creepy one with the hands there. But uh, you saw this coming, this ending. But I feel like you're taking a leap of faith. Yeah, and here's your energy with the moon. Listening to you about your intuition, higher knowing, maybe not telling anyone what secretly maybe had some secret plans but not really seeing the path clearly but kind of having like a plan anyway because they do see the moon there so it's kind of like you had a plan like backup plan like you knew uh you might have been attracted to somebody else and you kind of knew that was your destination but you kind of kept it under wraps because i feel like you have a fire here for somebody else like it just opened up your gates here yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. So whatever situation you were in, I feel like there's no more love and fulfillment there. Wheel of Fortune. So fate, destiny, divine timing. Things going in a better direction. Getting what is meant for you. Um, could have been an ending with a Sagittarius here. All right. So anything else? Yeah, sadness, hurt, loneliness, uh, regret. Yeah, in a marriage or commitment of some kind. But now going on a solo journey, having wish fulfillment, uh, happiness and joy. Queen of Wands, fiery, passionate, exciting energy. I feel like for some of you, you left something no longer fulfilling and now you're walking to your uh, like soulmate twin flame. It's a very holy fire energy. I like finding that inner sanctuary from within and having that gate open from within and knowing this is a holy connection holy fire a lot of passion so let's see what this honesty and self-expression is about for you pisces three of cups so reuniting coming together celebrating queen of swords so there's that uh open honest truthful communication uh having that clarity so two cards here of big communication. All right, so what else here? 
hangman. So that's your energy. So I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's very hard for you to express yourself, to speak your truths, to communicate exactly what you want, what you're doing, uh, kind of energy. But you know, you could be be gaining enlightenment um, here, per new perspectives on how to shed light on a situation or how to speak your truth and clarity temperance here so balancing out energy uh we have sagittarius here again balancing out energy um patient energy healing peace all right what else the high priestess that's your energy again so you're keeping a lot to yourself because the high priestess is about listening to your gut, your intuition, how you're knowing, but also it's not speaking or saying much. So not speaking, saying much, hey man, kind of like being hung up on your words, on what you need to say to bring in truth, clarity, the queen of swords, or cut away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, standing up, not taking any BS. I think if you, if you did speak what you need to speak, it would bring a lot of, um, peace harmony balance to you not only to you but maybe um i don't know social circles or family friends around you what else for pisces and this energy yeah but you're stuck in your head of the eight of swords mental entrapment of your own doing stuck in your stuck in your head and not being able to communicate what you need to communicate to somebody uh all right King of Swords, King and Queen of Swords here. So that's a double confirmation. There needs to be truth, clarity, and open, open, honest communication. Knight of Swords now. So this needs to be done soon. The Knight of Swords is about fast-paced action, rushing in with truth and clarity. So it needs to be done soon, I feel, whatever it is for you. The star here. So divinely guided energy, peace, hope, uh, energy, healing. May bring healing. Kind of energy also between, maybe between you and another by speaking um maybe reuniting coming back with someone to bring closure to bring um honesty truth may bring healing into a situation here all right so what is this trust the divine plan and face your adversities now we have the king of pentacles so it's very stable grounded energy uh growth abundance practicality being smart and analytical and now the queen of pentacles wow the divine has a plan for you i think to bring you in with your soulmate twin flame because we have a matching couple here i think you know who you might have been with was a soulmate but it wasn't your true match here and i feel like you're finally leaving that and finding here somebody it's a divine plan for you and maybe you know this but you're not telling anyone you're afraid to but you need to face that adversity because this is a divine plan to bring. Look at that matching couple here. Soulmate twin flames together. All right. Judgment. So, yeah, needing to make a final decision. Judgment call on this. Resurrection or forgiveness. This also brings soulmates back together. So, if this is somebody from your past, you have an indecisive here. A little blocked off, indecisive. But need to face those adversities and make that judgment call because you have value, worth, higher knowing, empress energy here, divine feminine energy. It could be emperor, empress, so masculine, divine, masculine, or feminine. But knowing your value and your worth, birth of something new, um, new cycle, eight king of cups, so king or queen. A lot of love and emotions here. Page of Wands, so good news coming in. There's a communication again. Uh, fiery, passionate communication. Good news coming in. Let's get one more. You are an empress. You can face your adversities. Trust the divine plan. Make this judgment call and make this decision about love and send out that good news and take that action with the Knight of Wands with drive, ambition, passion, and moving forward. But do you have conflict, competition, or inner conflict? 
about a brand new beginning in love. The Ace of Cups, love and emotions overflowing. Very strong connection. You could have past lives with that person with the infinity symbol. Um, having strength, willpower, determination um, kind of energy. To have a very balanced connection now. Getting out of stress, worry, fear, anxiety. King of Wands. Do we have the uh, Queen of Wands here? No, I don't think so. And we might have over here somewhere. I think we did over here. But um, I think we did have the Queen of Wands somewhere over here. So, <clears throat> again, another matching couple. King or Queen. So, fiery passion energy again. So, you know, taking control here, getting out of stress, fear, worry, anxiety, having balance, very strong connection, willpower, strength, courage, this brand new beginning in love that you're conflicted about or having inner conflict or competition about. But it's all divinely guided here, and it's time to face adversities and speak up, <laughs> Pisces, about some sort of holy, holy, uh, connection here like holy fire like twin flame soulmate connection wow okay pisces well best of luck to you sending you many light level blessings and as i always say with my channel so always always shine your light